welcome to the two people that actually watch my videos and these kind of things I have at least in part a 13.8 volt 15 amp power supply it's been on the bench for four years <laughs> it's smaller than the others I've been doing this is a 20 amp version that's just on one board that's a fair bit bigger but this one comes in two bits this is just an extension lead out on there I think this goes onto the front panel I believe so where did I get to last time yes last time I got into this board I was going on the assumptions that the feedback voltage was wrong the original problem with this one was it went straight up to 30 volts instead of 13.8 so assumed there was a problem with the feedback onto this IC rightly or wrongly probably wrong and let's see what I did here previously there's a resistor supposed to be on there for voltage adjust and I took it out I think I put a variable resistor in there didn't work so I gave up this bottom one's supposed to be you can't see that but this bottom one's supposed to be VCC ah 14 volts okay put VCC on the chip ah okay I was only getting two volts earlier on. Okay. Put that where it can be seen. Let's look for pin eight on the chip. Which would be uh, nothing. Uh, pin eleven. Again, nothing. Is that because of a feedback problem or a chip problem? I've taken the old chip out of this board. It's an old chip, this one. And I put that in a, um, an IC holder or whatever it's called. So we'll plug that in and try it again. Uh, this IC came from a spare board that I had. I don't know if it works, but we'll try. Now that's got a new chip in it, let's turn it on and see if we've made a difference. Or see if I've made a difference. Better or worse. Still no output. <laughs> Damn it. Pin it. Try not to shot anything out. And bugger all. Okay, so pin 11. Nothing. Check VCC, make sure things are working. What's going on? Why aren't you working? So I'm not getting any VCC. No power input to this again now. For some reason now I checked the continuity of the leads last time it was okay strange there is another chip on that board maybe that's faulty I'm, going, I'm just going to check those other transformers the primaries and secondaries the smaller ones yeah, it's unplugged just checking Uh, these two here, that one, that one. Now this transformer is directly linked to the wires that go to the IC board. This one's probably making control voltage of some kind. I've got an 8-pin chip on this main board. Right next to this smaller transformer. 
which I'm getting no voltage on that one. Uh, it's this little chip here. Can't be saying what does it say? It says B I P E R twenty two A. Seeing as I'm not getting any power to, especially this transform small one here, this little chip is under review. That eight pin one, and it's it was a Viper twenty two A, which is a switch mode controller. So I would assume it's powering this little transformer and there's an optocoupler behind it. So we'll have a look at those. Let me try the TV technician's trick. So if it can't be fixed with a hammer, then it's an electrical problem. So what have we got here on that chip? It's that's its pinout, its layout. Four drains, two sources, feedback, and a VDD voltage power supply into the chip. It's oriented that way. Let's probe about and see. First of all, if it's getting any power supply to the chip, it's going to be VDD number four and that's going to be referenced to primary ground because all of this is on the primary side I've now got my black lead from the meter into the negative pin bridge rectifier or negative of the caps same thing Let's see if we can probe those pins without shorting anything VCC Nothing. It's not even pins on. Chip's not getting any power. So this is the back of the 8-pin chip. A bit of a close-up. Four drain pins on the top. Two source pins. Uh, feedback and VCC. Going to this transformer here. And this feeds this little pin which is supplying VCC for the IC board how about a little, little picky oh just oh, perfect size there you go. that's not too bad so the 8 pin chip from behind for drains source VCC and feedback I'm drawn that Go into the transformer, positive negative two pins to the transformer, feeding the TL494, uh, pin 12 VCC, and pin 7 for ground. May make it a little bit easier to understand. Okay, until I get some new parts in, on hold. New chip installed in the holder. Hopefully the right way around. I'm going to check on the primary of this smaller transformer. Where's each coil? It's one. Jesus Christ, 900 and something volts. What? Really? Volts feedback, what the hell? Christ, I've never seen 920 volts in my life, what the hell? What the hell is going on there? Wow! So this is how these this switch mode controller is supposed to work this Viper 22A according to the data sheet 300 volts coming in from the filter cap through a primary 
this is the chip into the drain the drain then ex extracts some power and it's supposed to be making its own VDD but it's got to charge this capacitor up if this capacitor wasn't holding any charge then it would never start up and then if this is working correctly for a second or two then the auxiliary winding takes over through a resistor and a diode I've checked those they're fine and supplies power to EDD having said that a couple of things to check <clears throat> I could check either side of this capacitor for voltage I wasn't getting anything previously so with my meter in the DC range let's power on check out the side of the capacitor see if I can get in there without causing any sparks so that's going to be positive side negative side 12.8 volts I wasn't expecting that Got 12.5 volts on VCC or VDD in this case. Just going to check on that transformer primary where I had 900 volts last time. Okay, now I'm getting 88 volts. DC was it on DC we were checking it also. Can't be DC going to transform the move, that's why I get erroneous readings. here on the uh, VCC on this extension lead just in case I'm going about this totally the wrong way uh, 240 volts meters in DC so secondary ground not primary which is that one you see, and now I'm getting 14 volts. What? So it's going about this wrong way then. Just checking the transformer secondary again. So I'm getting nothing there, but I'm getting VCC. Thirty-five volts and two hundred range. I'm getting nothing on the seven hundred range. Let's see. Have I got a faulty meter? Looks like I've been doing a wild goose chase. Missing 36 volts. Okay. Maybe some good news. Let's turn it off. I'll check on the on the IC board. Okay, IC board. We're secondary ground again. That'll do. The ex extra wire. VCC in 
5.3 volts. Okay. Now I'm, I'm assuming that I've got nothing on the. the output leads. You never know. Ooh, I got 3.5 volts on the output. I'm going to check this IC board again. Is it my black lead to secondary ground? Let me check on that BCC, see if it's getting on the chip. That's better. Okay, so 12.3 volts on input to the chip. Let's try pin 8. Nothing. Pin 11. 2.5 volts. That's about where I think it should be. That's better. Okay, 14.6 volts VCC. Uh, let's try pin 8 again, just a straight DC line, 2.4 volts, and pin 11, pin 11, now we're getting nothing, this is still there, 12.6 volts, okay, so I'm getting no, no chip. I put apart from a straight line on straight line on pin eight. What I have got is a couple of spare sixteen pin ICs. So one of these is the original from um, from this board. I can't remember which one. So I'll try three different ones, the original one and these two. Let me try it with a substitute chip with a straightened out pins. <laughs> chip problem! 17.8, that's been high old. I can, I can do my adjustment now, hold on. Oops, too much. Let's see what value that's supposed to be. Is that continuing to drop? Ah, there you go. Not to tell too much. Okay, it's on 30 by 8. If I grab the value that I've set that to, I can put the original resistor back in the board. Not the original one. <laughs> That's long gone, but uh, on the V adjust here. On this board, hey! <laughs> I never thought I'd get this fixed. To be honest, I think these are the only parts I replaced on this. And then, so uh, chip and that Viper 22A. I changed these transistors, but it turns out I didn't need to. They test out fine. Just to be comprehensive now, I brought my scope back in. Secondary ground. Probing times one, not times ten. It's bouncing about. Tell the truth, you don't know what you're doing. No. But I fixed it. <laughs> Even with limited knowledge. I'm going to put a small load across this so we can maybe properly look at the waveforms on the scope. So let me set up my light bulb. Okay, let's have a look at some waveforms now. Let's see if we get a square wave now. Let's 
assume you can see that. Spot on. Okay, I'll let that run on one light bulb for a few minutes to prove it. That's all right, and it's been running for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, what's next? Yeah, next will be, oh, turn power off. I'm gonna cut out this variable resistor that I've got in circuit, and find the value, and put the appropriate resistor back where it's supposed to be. Next step is to, Try and bring this into shot. Cleaning out the filthy housing. <laughs> A few years worth of woodworking dust on that. Clean that up and put the board back into its housing. That's mostly back together. Let's hope that it still works. Plug into Scaryac. Yay, and fan too. 13.6, close enough. Let's give it a load. That fan is really going for it. Top speed. No load. Okay. Uh, it's plugged into house mains. Just give it one bolt. be right to run at full speed like that. Uh, that's what we got there for 7 odd amps. Uh, let's go for the full 10. Well, 9 and a half out of 15. Voltage is hardly dropped, 13 and a half volts. As usual, give that 15 20 minutes to run. All well and good. That's been about 18 minutes running. No problem apart from the running at top speed fan there's no adjustment there seems to be so oh well so in summary this is all I've changed have you seen uh, a 16 pin IC and an 8 pin IC and the missing resistor And if this has been useful or entertaining in any way, give me a thumbs down, thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget the kebab.